the first step is to remove the prints from the build table. When removing the prints from the build table, I like to make sure I'm very careful and do not scratch the build table. After the prints have cured for about an hour under the UV light, I sprue them up just like regular wax. This is the burnout cycle I would recommend. 3 hours at 300, 1 hour at 700, 3 hours at 1350, and 1 hour at resting casting temp. The most important part about this cycle, the oven truly has to reach 1350 degrees to get smooth quality surface finish. Here I'm going to cast a couple rings right here with the B9 resin. Uh, this is uh, my casting machine, uh, Nyacraft broken arm, and then this is the oven that I use, uh, most basic uh, oven, and then um, here's just my oven controller. I do like to make sure that before I cast, I look at the flask and make sure that it is free from any debris or any ash uh, from the resin uh, because it did have a clean burnout cycle. Uh, I've never had a problem with anything being there. However, it is just best practices to always look inside the flask to make sure that the sprue hole is nice and clean. casting it and I'm just going to let it let it sit and cool uh, before I quench it. As you can see, casting the B9 resin is very easy and results in a nice, smooth, high quality surface finish. I would recommend this to any jeweler that wants a high resolution model with great surface quality. I have now casted well over 65 rings using this method and have not run into one issue. If you have any questions, please feel free to contact me. Thank you for watching.